Renting isn't throwing money away and buying might be riskier. Renting poses a less financial risk than buying a home. The most you pay for your housing each month when you rent is the cost of the rent. But you're likely to spend far more between all the associated expenses of home ownership. From property taxes and homeowners insurance to upkeep and maintenance, which you can actually automatically estimate around 4-5% to of a home's value per year. Renting also gives you its own kind of leverage. By renting, you're more flexible and you're agile with your finance than you would likely be if you were saddled with a large, illiquid asset that may or may not be easy to offload when you want. You can build wealth while you rent by directing some of your available cash flow to savings, retirement accounts, brokerage accounts, or even other investments like education or a business startup. Now, none of this is saying that the buying real estate is a bad move or it won't work out in your favor. The point is that you don't have to in order to grow well. Buying a home can be part of your financial plan, but it doesn't need to be your main investment vehicle. If your goal is to build wealth, then you need a systematic, reliable, tested and repeatable process to use over and over again for the long term. See, this is where real estate often falls short for the majority of people. It's hard to replicate because you need large upfront sums of capital for every purchase and you're limited to the fiscal inventory that's available in a particular location at any given time. You're also taking on way much more financial risk than you actually need to secure a reasonable rate of return. Given that houses are expensive to maintain, tenants are unpredictable, and you're subject to market conditions in your specific location if you want to liquidate. Plus, it's just hard. There are much easier ways to grow wealth, especially if you start early. Namely, that's using a globally diversified investment portfolio to buy into financial markets. Take advantage of any qualified retirement accounts available to you. These can provide tax benefits by deferring taxes or helping your wealth grow tax-free. These may include a 401k, a variety of IRAs, life insurance, aimed to contribute the maximum allowable amount each year. Once you max out those accounts, open a taxable investment account. This is also known as a brokerage account. Contribute a set amount to that each year as well. Invest in low-cost, globally diversified portfolio. When you start using investment accounts to set up a portfolio using a low-cost investment options like mutual funds and ETFs, these are baskets of securities that can give you exposure to a range of asset classes and types but spread your investment risk across a variety of sectors and locations. Contribute systematically. Consider using a dollar cost averaging strategy to help you stay consistent. Commit to leaving this money invested for the long term. Compounding only works if you give it time to do so. Once you set up your investment system and strategy, stick with it. You don't need to invest in real estate, use complicated plans, buy expensive products, or know some type of financial secret that no one else knows to grow wealth. 